Hey, my name is Kyle and welcome to another video. It's been a minute and I've missed you all. I've just been taking some time to recoup and rest, but I'm back and ready to get into some weekly videos. So this week's a little different. I recently spent some time out in Karoo, which is this beautiful deserty area outside of Cape Town, one of my favorite places to go. And I went out there for a little over two weeks to help build a wooden structure or an art piece for an event called Africa Burn, which is basically like a burning man in South Africa. And I know there's lots one can say about this event, but in this story, I wanted to share my thoughts around my experience of being part of a build and what I took away from it. It's a pretty radical event. This is my fifth time going. I really enjoy spending my time out there. If this is the first time you're hearing of it, it's pretty much an annual event where people come together and create art and music. It's centered around a gifting culture throughout the week. People come and build structures the week before and during the event they are burnt. People gather to appreciate all the effort that goes in. However, this year was the first time I've ever built something during the burn and as I watched our structure burn, I was reminded of how easily I tend to resist life and how much frustration that can bring me. I used to swing quite heavily between happiness and despondency, being really intensely affected by things when they didn't go the way I expected them to go. Eventually I grew tired of my own reactions and this sort of controlling tendency that I have and slowly noticed how much energy I was wasting during these sort of episodes and over time I began to seek a way out. One day during my training, I came across this saying which changed everything for me. And it might sound simple, but it went like this. This too shall pass, which seemed simple at first and it provided some superficial comfort in sort of bad situations and sometimes took away from good things, you know, and this is if like, don't enjoy this too much because it won't last. However, there is so much good that can come from the inner non-resistance to events and when that is mixed with non-judgment and non-attachment, now bear with me, you can create a very powerful tool to call upon.
the saying, this too shall pass, with the embers that I saw in the sky during the burn, well, it reminded me of this impermanence, the transience of all forms in life, good or bad. And becoming aware of this fleetingness made me less attached to it, made it easier for me to let go and less resistant to change. You may be wondering, why wouldn't you want to hold onto your happiness? That doesn't make any sense, Carl. Well, change is inevitable, and I'm sure you can agree with that. And once you accept the transcendence of all life, you enjoy your pleasures without fear, without loss or anxiety about the future, without holding on to the good stuff. You learn to detach from the outcome of your experience and you create this inner stillness. Suddenly there's less distraction around the event in your life and less weight on your emotional response to it. And most importantly, there is space between you and your thoughts. And this is the kind of thing I keep harping on about in my yoga classes on the channel. And I was reminded of this by noticing my attachment <laughs> to this structure because it took so much effort to build and almost felt like such a waste to just burn it. But at that point, I realized that that was the whole thing around the event. It's the participation in the dance of creation without my attachment to the outcome, without placing my silly demands and expectations upon the world and all around me. And for me personally, a really beautiful reminder of the fact that all my suffering comes from attachment to form and my unawareness of that space between thought. So, the more reactive I am, the more tangled I am with form. And I often feel really weighed down by this attachment, whether it's my tendencies of addiction or obsessive compulsion or sense of lack. And this inevitably leads me to take myself and the world way too seriously. And then I know that the playfulness of life and it's all its forms has been misperceived as a struggle for survival and I often fall back into anxiety and dread about the future and its uncertainty and I honestly could just kick myself for not holding on to this permanently but life is consistently changing and that's why I love yoga and that's why I started this channel because I wanted to provide space for everyone to feel what yoga has to provide. And for me personally, it teaches me how to go with the flow. And it sounds quite simple, but the more you practice, the more you can take the lessons from your mat and apply them off your mat. And on a less spiritual note, I had a lot of fun. It was just really great to be out in the open, in the desert. The Karoo is such a magical place and to work with your hands and feel tired in your body and be within that building routine was something that's just, I don't know, I really enjoy it. And it reminded me of a feeling and a way of life that I touched base with during my training and kind of lost when I moved back into the city. And it's the end goal for me, it's the long-term goal, hopefully not long-term in terms of time, but Eventually, I'd like to build and open up my own studio or own space where I could hold these trainings and, and host people in their own learnings and teachings and, yeah, just share the love. And I'm just going to put it out there so everyone knows it would be lovely to meet you all. I find that teaching over the internet is one thing and it's such an amazing reach for a lot of people especially because it's completely free and accessible to most. It's fantastic. But then there's another thing being in person where you get to feel someone and, exp and, and, and share and connect on a much deeper level. And that for me is one of the main things that keeps me going when, when 
when teaching, that's this like two-way energetic exchange. I hope to get there one day and I hope that you all can join and be a part of that experience and share in the color yoga vibe. <laughs> Anyway, I think that's enough for me. I'm excited to be back and creating weekly videos. I've got some ideas of what I'd like to do with this weekly vlog. And as always, if you have anything that you'd like to see, any feedback, please let me know. It is one thing just creating content, which I think is useful. But then there's another thing just listening and responding to what you guys would like. So if there is something, please let me know. And as always, have a lovely day and I'm sending you lots of love and thank you for watching.